Oh, hi Pisces, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Sorry for those of you who are watching that it's a little bit late, I was really busy. Um, just finding time to get you done, the rest done this morning. So, um, for the reading guys, we are going to use the Cosmic Cycles for June 2021. Uh, we are also going to use the, um, <clears throat> hang on a minute, yeah, I don't need that deck. Okay, the Prism Oracle for your spiritual advice and also the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for any type of clarification that might need to be done on the particular video. Um, just bear with me one moment, guys. Um, my hands get really dry <laughs> just by putting cream on them and it can look awful on screen. So just bear with me one moment while I just put a little bit of cream on my hands to get them looking nice and soft. Okay, there we go, that's better. It's not nice when your hands look crusty, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get on with the reading then. Um, so we're going to just have a look at what you need to focus on for the month of June, uh, the situation around it in five cards, and then the advice in two cards at the bottom. So let's have a look. Um, just make sure that my hands are properly... don't want to leave any smears on my cards. Okay. There we go. So, uh, Universe Spirit, what is it that uh, Pisces needs to focus on for June 2021? What is the focus for June 2021 for Pisces from the top? Okay. Um, and what is the situation around this? What is the situation around this in five cards? One, two... Three, uh, four, five. And what is the advice in two cards that you have for Pisces on this situation? Okay. Okay. Ooh, right. There we go. Right, so let's have a look then. Uh, sorry, one more thing that I forgot. Um, yeah, my pointer pen, as I always use. Okay, let's have a look. What should you be focusing on for the month of June then, Pisces? Um, the King of Cups. Could be an individual here that we're looking at. Uh, King of Cups is a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and usually they're seen as Scorpio. Um, this is someone, it's, it's a tricky one in a way with the King of Cups, because sometimes he can be explained as somebody who can be a bit of a emotional manipulator. Sometimes he can be explained as somebody who, I find that he's more emotionally manipulative though when he's reversed. I think in the upright, keeping to tradition, he's usually quite a sweet, loving, empathic, understanding type. Yeah, he's prone to, to moods a little bit because he often suppresses his feelings. He's very emotionally intellectual, um, very emotionally giving. He's all about the emotion. Uh, I think as a, as a energy, perhaps the need to focus on, there is a need to focus on your emotions this month, how you're feeling. How, perhaps how you're expressing those feelings or the need to express feelings. Let's see what's happening. But this might be a person here or it could be you because it is a water sign. Um, what are you experiencing underneath this? Right, so there's a bit of stress happening here. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands can be very stressful. We're carrying burdens with the Ten of Wands showing up here. Let's have a look at the next one. The Knight of Wands. So we're trying to move away from that, I think, with the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys may be trying to literally move and there's a burden around that because the Knight of Wands is, after all, the moving card. But what I'm also seeing with the Knight of Wands is, because I read visually too, we're overcoming a hurdle. Can you see there? The Knight is jump over jumping over a hurdle. Um, I can't remember what this particular thing is in the, the Olympics. The, the pole jumper, I can't remember what it was. But we're trying to, I think there's a bit of stress here, trying to move away from stress, trying to overcome stress, trying to overcome a hurdle. Bit of stress trying to overcome hurdles. 
Uh, it feels like there's something regarding a move here. So maybe some of you guys are feeling really stressed out. Some of you may be literally feeling stressed out about a move. Perhaps you're moving home. Um, and you know what? When I look at this actual line of pictures, what it reminds me of is somebody who is building a home with the Ten of Wands. Looks like there's a lot of work involved here as well because the Ten of Wands represents hard work. You can see she's carrying all of these kind of planks of wood. So there's obviously some form of building activity going on. So some of you Pisces may literally, literally be finding, you know, going through a lot of hard work. You're finding it quite stressful. You're going through some form of a move. Perhaps it's more than likely it would be a property move, I would say, for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, it's literally trying to, you know, you're dealing with some stress. You're trying to move, trying to shake that stress off, overcoming hurdles, trying to take control with the chariot energy, trying to get things into some form of alignment. Maybe you're being pulled in two directions or you've just got a lot of stuff going on. When I look at the cards, it looks very, very busy to me. The, the energy is so, so busy. Um, the Empress. So the Empress is a nurturing, motherly card. Um, could be an individual here. It could literally be trying to create something or trying to nurture something or perhaps this is taking care of the kids because both cards together the chariot and the empress they represent maternal energy uh, because the chariot rules the house of home and family and the empress is a mother so perhaps there is a sense of having lots of responsibilities in these cards lots of stress trying to move away from stress or maybe there's something to do with a home move here got a lot of responsibility perhaps with children for some of you guys showing up here uh you may have a lot of responsibility with children as well for some of you guys um the five of wands is a card about children fighting as well so some of you guys may literally with that empress and the five of wands and the chariot be trying to bring things in, back into control it, you know what this feels like it feels like a lot of responsibility is on sorry about the shaky table um i've got my ipad um on, on a on a suspension thing feels like a lot of responsibility some of you guys have got here i won't lie it does feels like an awful lot of responsibility um and some of you guys have got children you've got minors perhaps with the five of ones being fighting children um and I think, you know what, the focus is with the King of Cups, it's staying calm. Because that's also an energy of the King of Cups. It's just because he's emotionally controlled. So he's just keeping everything in control. So I think the focus for the month is keeping your emotions in control. Keeping your emotions intact. Just Let's just use the word keeping calm, Pisces. I think it's a month for keeping calm because I just see so many things going on here. Some of you guys are literally moving home. You're uh, literally moving boxes and all sorts of things out of the home. It's really stressful showing up here. We can see the move happening here and here with the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. We can see the heavy lifting going on with the Ten of Wands. And we can see while the, all of that's going on, some of you guys have got to take care of children, fighting children, warring children, um, all of that type of thing. Some of you guys also, uh, it may be with the... Uh, ten of wands just feeling stressed out trying to overcome hurdles uh, with the chariot trying to you're faced perhaps with a couple of decisions or you're being pulled in different directions trying to bring things in together uh, perhaps from a few guys your creativity is feeling a little bit blocked at the moment because of all of this stuff going on so I just feel that this is a month for just trying to remain calm with the king of cups I don't necessarily think that this is a person that you focus on it may be for some of you guys but I think it, it's an energy and I think it's a month amidst all of this kind of chaos going on. I don't think it's anything that you can't deal with because there's no kind of tower here or anything really, really disruptive. I just feel that maybe um, you are, uh, you know, just faced with doing stuff that is kind of throwing things out a little bit. I think that usually you're not so, so busy feels like it's a little bit just a little bit chaotic this month it's, it doesn't look too too bad to me but it looks like you're some of you guys may be pulling your hair out a little bit and thinking oh my goodness how am I going to get through this there's just so much going on so much I need to do and it also feels to me when I look at the cards you guys are at the helm of everything it looks like you're the ones who have the majority of the responsibility 
um, for this. So just try and keep calm, I say, with the King of Cups. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> Do a bit of meditation with the King of Cups. Energy showing there. Take breaks when you can. Relax when you can with the King of Cups. Energy showing there. Um, you know, if you can, go and have a picnic. Go and relax a little bit. Showing here. Um, I don't I don't get a sense that this is hugely problematic this month, but I do think that there are things going on that require you to try and just remain calm. Because I think that if you feed into this kind of chaotic energy, uh, what will happen is, is it's just going to throw you completely out. So uh, this is a month for just focusing on trying to keep calm. And really, you know, there's a lot of kind of spiritual, um, um, you need to kind of really take care of yourself spiritually here why don't you indulge maybe in some pastime a hobby if you you like art indulge in a bit of art here uh king of cups is artistic creative why don't you all indulge in a little bit of creativity if you can some of you guys might literally be feeling that your creativity is being blocked here because you've got all of this stuff going on but allow yourself to have a little bit of time where you can just kind of do some of the things that you like to do as well let's have a look at what the advice is the Two of Cups, yeah, I think that the advice is with this Two of Cups, meet up with people that you love, get together with people, share, share how you're feeling with others. The Two of Cups is a card about sharing after all. Um, what's the next card? Justice. So the Justice card is all about balance, but it's also about making decisions as well. Weigh up the pros and cons. OK, I think that the advice is that coming together with others, because it feels to me like some of you guys are shouldering a hell of a lot of stuff on your own in these cards, which is why it's telling you to keep calm with the King of Cups, to indulge in pastimes, to do things that feed you spiritually and emotionally. Because right now, whether this is moving home or whether this is dealing with stress at work and trying to overcome hurdles, some of you guys may literally be in places of leadership where you're at the helm of projects at work for example and you're responsible for everyone and everything with this chariot being the leader you know um it may simply be a case of that's why the things that you love to do it may be that it's interfering with your relationships with others and that type of thing so i think that uh there is a need to share this with others with the two of cups perhaps there is a um, the ability to try and, uh, you know, talk through or weigh up a few things up or make a few decisions, perhaps with the justice card uh, relating to, you know, coming together with others. Because I think if you're helming everything to yourself, Pisces, I think what happens is, is that, you know, a problem shared is a problem halved. Um, perhaps you can try with the justice energy to you know, make a few decisions, weigh up a few of the pros and cons, come to a few conclusions, because the justice card means conclusions. So I feel that it's important to get together with people here to try and reach some form of a conclusion or to get a few answers, perhaps, with the justice card here concerning how you perhaps, you know, um, negotiate whatever this is, because it does feel quite, doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it's something you can't handle, but I think that, you know, Many hands make light work, I would say, with the Two of Cups. So I think that the advice is really, you know, uh, confide in family or friends or whoever it is um, and try and find a few solutions to whatever it is that's going on here because justice is the uh, completion and also the solution card also. All right, let's get some uh, spiritual advice through the Prism Oracle. The beautiful Oracle deck just really talks about our emotions and feelings through colour. So... What advice, spiritual advice, do you have for Pisces on this reading for June in uh, three cards, please? Yeah, you need some space. <laughs> space. Energy. Mystery. That's interesting. Let's get the booklet out for this one. I certainly feel that there needs to be a bit of space here. You need to give yourself a little bit. And when we talk about space, I think it's space from whatever it is that's going on here. Because certainly for some of you guys, you do have kids. And certainly for some of you guys, you're helming a move all on your own. Or you're dealing with a lot of stress. You're trying to overcome hurdles. You're having to take care, especially with that Empress and the Chariot of Others. 
Um, and I think for some of you guys with the five of wands as well, it's it's really stressing you out. It's really because this is a card of stress as well, internalizing the stress. So if you guys, because you've got responsibilities for others, you may be not saying anything. You may be internalizing a lot of the stress here and really, the, you know, for the month, you need to be focusing on, you know, spiritual wellness and really taking care of yourself with the King of Cups energy. So I think that there is a need for space. Let's have a look at the energy card here. Um, right. So energy should be in the red, I think. Strength. Oh, it's not. Energy. When this card appears, it asks you to pay attention to the energy that you've either recently cultivated or would like to cultivate. Uh, tap into the momentum of something that you've been working on. Get excited about a new project or even a seemingly mundane task like cleaning your home. Now is the time to pursue whatever has been calling you. What I think that you need to perhaps take, it depends on how you want to see that energy. Because when it talks about energy in this book... I think I'm going to take from it to pay attention to the energy that you've recently cultivated. And the energy that you're cultivating is the energy of stress in these cards here. So I think that you need to kind of distance yourself because I look at the space card as distance. I think that you need to distance yourself from this energy. Let's have a look at the mystery card here. Um, you need to get to the purple. One moment can be a little bit difficult to navigate. I think it would have been good to have sort of um, stickers on the outside. Here we go. Mystery. Let's see what this says. If you can find it. Okay, bear with me one moment, guys. Here we go. The mystery card represents the idea that it's okay to not have all the answers all the time. Embrace the various mysteries of life and let things happen and unfold as they need to. Surrender to the unknown, which is really interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think I know what it's saying. Um, surrender to the unknown. In a way, it's almost saying try and let go of the need to have everything done or, or for you to do everything on your own here. Because I think there is a... And, and actually, you know, the King of Cups, it's all about emotional control or controlling one's emotions. That's what the King of Cups does. Um so I think that the focus for the month being on the King of Cups is how we control our emotions. Because I think that some of you guys, what you're actually feeling is a lot of stress. You've got a lot of stuff going on. Some of you guys got children, so you're trying to. And some of you guys, it, I wouldn't be surprised if either if you're in a partnership, the partner isn't pulling their weight or you're single parents. It's one of the two, I think. Um, if you've got children, that is. You know, or if it's a work thing, because the Ten of Wands is work, you know, this uh, having a lot of responsibilities in work and the chariot is somebody who's in charge, okay, of others. So some of you guys have got a lot of stress at work, you're in charge of others, you're trying to overcome certain hurdles, you're trying to move away from that stress. Um, some of you guys are responsible for looking after others, whether it's in work or it's children, and it's really tiring you out with that, you, that five of wands, but you're internalizing a lot of stuff. Cause I think that what could be internalized here, if the five of wands is internalized frustration, what's being internalized is that you've got all of this responsibility Pisces. And I think the universe is saying, number one, you really need to kind of try and not get so frustrated. The King of Cups doesn't get frustrated because he's controlling his emotions. So that's number one. Number two, share. You know, share your problems with others. Talk about it. See if you can find some resolutions through that. Uh, number three, try and distance yourself from that energy, perhaps of frustration, perhaps the five of wands that you've, you know, because you've cultivated an energy of frustration here, you know, because it feels kind of a little bit chaotic, got too much to do. So try and distance yourself from that particular energy and just realise that you don't have all of the answers with the mystery card, you know, sometimes you've just got to kind of say, okay, there's only so much I can do here. And let me see how everything else unfolds. And I think also the word surrender means to trust, trust that you're going to get through this because some of you guys, it feels like you're in a rush to do something here. So distance oneself energetically from what's going on here. And I think with the mystery card, just trust that things will work out as they're meant to. All right, that is your reading guide for the month of June. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you like your own private reading, click on the link in the comment section below and I will be back real soon with some other stuff. Take care. Bye-bye.